when you think about intubation, you probably think about the traditional direct laryngoscopy. In this lesson, you will learn how to intubate with the video laryngoscope. There are many manufacturers of video laryngoscopes. They all have their own nuances and advantages. But basically, there's a digital camera and a light source at the tip of the laryngoscope. You can visualize an enlarged view of the larynx and all the landmarks on a digital screen. The advantage here is that everyone can see what you're doing. The angle of the video laryngoscope is more angulated and gives a much better view of the vocal cords. But this angle requires a special stylet with similar exaggerated features. This angle also allows a significant advantage in cases where neck mobility is limited, like in the case of a patient with cervical spine injury or elderly patients with osteoarthritis, and also in patients with very anterior airways. Here's the shape of the tube once the stylet is loaded. Because the camera is at the tip of the blade, there's no need to sweep the tongue. You can enter the mouth from the middle. Now you can follow the camera view as you glide down the tongue into the vollecula and see the epiglottis and the arytenoids. Once you see the arytenoids or even the cords on the screen, follow the angle of the blade with your loaded stylet and watch as you push the tube through the cords. Because of the big curve on the stylet, once the tip of the tube is placed through the cords, it can be hard to advance the rest of the tube. You'll need to pop off the stylet, slightly back out the stylet out of the tube in order to advance the tube in the proper position. Once the tube is placed, remove the stylet and attach a syringe to the balloon valve and inflate the balloon with five to 10 cc's of air. Now you can connect the bag and ventilate. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.